Welcome back to science everyone. Today, we are going to explore simple electric circuit with Mr. Corey Cole. At the end of this lesson, we should 1. Define key vocabulary terms. 2. Examine parts of an electric circuit. And 3. Investigate when a circuit is opened or closed. Let's get started. Turn on the light switch. What did you notice? Aha! Uh -huh. The bulb lights up. Very good. What is the source of power to the light bulb? Look at the picture carefully. It's a generator. You are correct. What is another source of power you can use to light the bulb in case the current goes off? A battery. Very good. How does energy from the battery reaches the bulb to light it? Let's find out. Let us look at the definition of keywords. Electric current. The flow of electric charges is called an electric current. Insulators. A material that do not allow current to pass through easily. With plastic covering the wire, we can hold the wire without getting an electric shock. Here are some types of insulators. Wood, glass, rubbers, plastic, and oil. Switch. It is used to turn an electric current on or off. As you can see, in the diagram. Battery. The battery is an electric cell which supplies energy to move charges through the circuit. Conductor. A type of material that allows electric current to pass through it easily. The electric wire is made of metal, mainly copper. Here are some types of conductors, steel, silver, gold, seawater, and copper. Who's with me? Memory check. James works for Bahamas Power and Light. While he is working, he normally uses a pair of rubber gloves. Explain why James uses the pair of rubber gloves. He uses the pair of rubber gloves because electric current can pass through them easily and it will prevent him from getting shot. Very good. Which of the following can allow electric current to pass through easily? Is it the glass, wire, or the rubbers? Which one? The wire. Very good. There are a few parts of an electric circuit. State the function of the battery. The battery provides energy to move charges through the circuit. Very good. Define the term electric current. A flow of electric charges. You are correct. A switch is not needed as a part of an electric circuit. Do you agree? or disagree with this statement. I agree. 
A switch is used to turn an electric current on or off. Very good. Good job. Pass of an electric circuit. Battery. A battery has a positive sign, as you can see, and a negative sign too. Electricity from a battery must flow out of one end, the negative end, and back in through the positive end in order for it to work. Bulb, something being powered by an electricity in a circuit. Wire, the wire is the conductor that allows current to pass through it. Switch, why does a circuit have a switch? A switch is used to turn an electric current off or on. Let us look at this diagram. You can see a switch, a battery, the wire, and a light bulb. Again, switch, a battery, wire and a light bulb are we still focused let's check label the parts of an electric circuit you are going to use the words from the box to label the part let's get ready wire very good battery Excellent. Where is the switch? That's it. And the light bulb. Good job, students. Types of circuits. Closed circuit. When the switch is on, the power is complete. The bulb lights up. As you can see in the diagram, the bulb is glowing. Open circuit. When the switch is off, the path is broken. The light bulb would be off. As you can see in the diagram, the light bulb is off. Let us watch a short video clip that will demonstrate an open and closed circuit for us. Closed and open circuit. If you see both the wires are connected to both the terminal, it is an unbroken bar. It is a closed circuit. Disconnect one of the wires. You will find that the power is broken now. Also. The bulb doesn't light up since electricity can't flow through this circuit. The broken path is known as an open circuit. Sherlock Holmes is to the rescue. Examine and explain what is happening in each picture below. Let's look at picture A. The light bulb is off, the circuit is open, and the path is incomplete. You are correct. Let us look at picture B. The light bulb is on, the circuit is closed, and the path is complete. You are correct. C. Differentiate between insulators and conductors. Insulators do not allow current to pass through them easily. You are correct. Conductors allow current to pass through them easily. Very good. D. 
investigate and circle the items powered by electricity. Very good, the iron, the boom box, the blender, a flat screen TV. Is that a lamp? And a fan. Good job, students. Let's make a simple circuit. Your science experiment for this week. Students, please read the instructions carefully. It is clearly outlined for you to produce this experiment. Have fun. Time to recap. The flow of electric charges is called an electric current. A material that do not allow current to pass through it easily is called an insulator. Two examples are rubbers and plastics. A type of material that allows current to pass through it easily is called a conductor. Two examples are iron and steel. The bulb is something being powered by electricity in a circuit. What are the parts of an electric circuit? They are the wire, battery, bulb, and the switch. The switch is used to turn an electric current on or off. Closed circuit. When the switch is on, the path is complete. The bulb lights up. When the switch is off, the path is broken. The bulb will be off. This is an open circuit.